People say to me, well, Larry, why would you do that? You're a successful guy. You, you have a heart surgery practice. You have, a, you have a nice family. Why would you want to change your routine? Why would you want to get involved? Why would you want to do this type of thing? These are coming from doctor friends of mine. They have a hard time understanding. And I said, well, there's really, if you cut it down to things there's, to the quick here, there's really three big reasons. And that's because of spending, control, and health care. We have an administration now that proposed a budget, their first budget deficit, $1.4 trillion, the largest in U.S. history. The next year they proposed another budget with a deficit of $1.6 trillion. And that's kind of what I started, that started to pique my interest because I see our current administration and the current U.S. House of Representatives not getting it. They don't understand. Remember, this is in the face of the American people telling the, the politicians for years, hey, we're spending too much money. So spending is number one. And someone needed to step forward and say, we're not going to do that anymore. And our congressman, Congressman Ellsworth, clearly wasn't voting in the direction that I thought was serving the district. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons I'm in the race. Control is a serious issue for me. I have concerns when the President of the United States essentially fires the CEO of a private company in the U.S. General Motors, as you know, had their, their CEO step down basically at the, because President Obama wanted it that way. That's the start of a slippery slope. Where does that end? That's one of the largest companies in America. But everybody that owns a company, whether public or private, now has concerns of whether, well, well maybe the federal government is going to come in here and tell us how to run our business, and subsequently we're finding out that's exactly what's going to happen if someone doesn't do something about it. And of course, the health care bill, I think, is the wrong direction for America. As a physician, I already see severe shortages in manpower across the nation. My specialty, cardiothoracic surgery, has not filled their residency programs in over five years. What that means is that you have more retirements a physician like myself happening, you have no one to replace them. And that's just one specialty. You can go down the line and say, well, why? You say, well, Larry, why is that? Well, because people don't know the direction the federal government's going to take with health care. My son is 17. He's going to be a senior in high school next year. And he says, Dad, I really am interested in medicine. And honestly, this is one of the first times in my life where I say to myself, well, maybe I should advise this young man not to pursue career in health care. Now, I advise him to do it because uh, I love it. And I would hope that he would follow in my footsteps. But if you look at seniors in high school out there, there's a lot of opportunity in, for them. They don't need to choose medicine. So I have concerns about manpower. The other thing is, if you look at what this health care bill is doing, uh, is going to do to businesses in America. If anyone has looked into the new taxes, the new tax penalties, for non-compliance, you'll see, and I know this because I've talked to business leaders, you'll see that there's going to be businesses out there that based on the implementation of this health care bill can't keep, keep their doors open. I spoke with a, with a gentleman who owns the restaurants around Indiana and Ohio, and he showed me the bottom line. He said, he said, Larry, look what's going to happen. Here's what we're predicting if this health care bill gets fully implemented. What's going to happen to my business? And he's, he has a strong business with a national chain backing. He said that anybody that doesn't have that at all has no hope. They have no hope of continuing to uh, run their business based on the, the penalties in the health care bill alone. So the health care bill is more than just medicine. It's about business. It's about the, really the future of a way of life in, in America, which I disagree with. Now, Martin told me I had about 45 minutes to speak, so I had to cut this down a little bit. But I, I do want to mention there was a correspondence dinner in Washington recently. And does everyone know what that is? It's a, it's a dinner where the politicians and the press get together and they roast each other. And Jay Leno, I love this, Jay Leno was the speaker for the night. And he said, many people were coming up to me and they're saying, Jay, you know the president. You've had time to interact with him. President Obama, he kind of seems, seems a little stiff to me. He doesn't seem very friendly. And Jay said, no, no, that's not true at all. 
is that President Obama loves to socialize. You know, healthcare, the auto industry, the financial industry, so that's just not true. And it, it's funny, but I tell you what, if it wasn't the truth, uh, it, would be, it might be a little funnier. I don't know. Let me just tell you a little bit about my background, because a lot of you in the crowd don't know me. Uh, you know now why I'm running and why I think it's so important to, for us to stand up this year. Uh, but my mother was a nurse and is a retired nurse, and that's why probably I'm in medicine, because when I was a, a teenager, she brought me around the hospitals, and I interacted with physicians, and I, and I talked with them, and I found out that, boy, it's, I really think getting into a profession like medicine where you interact with people and care about